Hey guys, my name is Grant. Welcome to my channel. We are going to be chatting today about how to build a website for your content creation business. I, I, I like to call this a, a creator hub of all your activities and everything that goes into them and how people can get plugged into your community and find out who you are in like 20 minutes. It's, it's as easy as that. I think a lot of content creators find it extremely hard to put together a website and Streamlabs have come to the party to make this a little bit easier for us. So let me show you how. Before we jump onto the desktop, let me just quickly explain to you why I feel that this new creator site service that Streamlabs have got is su super important. Firstly, they contacted me and showed me a little bit about the platform and I was like, yeah, I'll make a video about this. This is really cool. I'm not being sponsored to do this. I think this is a very powerful tool that empowers content creators like myself and it hits home to me a lot. I'm a smallish content creator, small to medium size. And one of the challenges that I have is that to remain noticed, to have sponsors that want to get involved in the channel and brands that want to give back to the community, they don't know how to do that because they might pop into a Twitch stream, they might not really understand where your panels are, they might not understand Twitch as a platform. We just assume that brands understand Twitch or, or YouTube as a space or Twitter, but they often don't. And we've got to kind of educate brands on how to work with us. And without a hub of activity that's easy to understand, so like, I mean, even Discord is on that on that realm, you need the space for brands to have that aha moment. Like, that's his Twitter, that's his Instagram, this is when he's streaming, this is how he's streaming, this is what he's doing on YouTube, this is what he's doing on, on all these different spaces, this is where the Discord community's at, what is Discord, <laughs> like those kind of things. It's super easy to plug somebody that has landed on your site into your business. I'm gonna refer to streaming as a business because it is, this is my full-time job, and I'm really fortunate enough to have a, a lively, proactive audience. We make really cool content. I see that as a hallmark of success. That, that, that's the marker I have. I'm not necessarily aiming for like billions of followers. I want to have a place where I'm really proud of the content that I'm producing, that it's sustainable, that I can do this full time, and that my audience is extremely happy and satisfied with what I'm producing. I'm going to jump off the point that you probably have Streamlabs. You're probably using a couple of these services. You've signed in with your Twitch account and you've clicked on the new creator side tab that's on the left of your your dashboard. I'm pumped about this. This is going to get you more business. You're going to get more work out of this. You're probably going to have your audience grow. There's SEO functionality in it. So when people search you, you'll pop up at the top of the page on Google search results and people will be able to find your stream a lot easier if you are a Twitch streamer and your YouTube channel, if you guys are YouTubers as well. Obviously our businesses are 360 degrees and this is a nice anchor point for a bunch of those things. So let's jump in. I'm going to try and build my one from scratch all over again, just to show you how quick it was because it was super quick. I'm motivate why I'm using certain features on the service because I think they've been very clever with uh, the features that you can include on your landing page. While we've got the dashboard in front of us right now, it's worth noting that this is $149 a year. That package includes a lot of services that you will need when you are setting up a website and some value ads that are very competitive with Squarespace and Wix. Firstly, you get a domain and the domains that are listed here are like .com, .net, .live. I'm using a .live, so go to gronheinz.live to see this. This is where this will be, which is something you have to pay on top of generally. And then you also need to get security with your domain, which uh, something is always like an added extra. And that ends up costing you like sometimes like $20 a month, depending on the domain that you're using. And that's all embedded in the price. So literally, per month what you're generally paying for if you break it down is like the domain which is the most professional part of it one of the hard parts about having your own domain is setting up your own email and that's included as well there's a way to connect your email very easily in the system so it's easy to set up you don't have to understand DNS and um, pop servers and all that stuff it's all just there in the dashboard which is extremely handy when I say this is gonna be up and running within like 20 minutes or something I'd like I seriously mean this they've also added a couple of things that you don't have to worry about especially if you're not a web developer like my Myself. First up, whatever you design is responsive. This means that no matter what screen you're looking at it on, whether it's a tablet, a phone, or a website, it will format to the viewing device that someone is viewing on. So if you're on a phone, it'll look professional. It'll look like it was meant to be built on a phone and designed on a phone. If you're looking at it on a desktop, it'll look like what you're seeing in front of you now, which is very cool. You also get built-in SEO settings. So if you uh, have a favicon, which is a little logo that's in the URL bar at the top of the page, you can have your own design over there, like pop-up. You can add your own title and description to your website 
and add keywords. So if people are searching for those keywords, it will pop up, your site will pop up first. The benefit of having a title and description means that if you share your site on another platform, for instance, on Facebook, it'll have a pre-generated display of what your website is and what people can expect when they go there. And it also helps Google push and promote that content forward if people search for it. So for instance, if a brand is looking for you or looking for somebody like you, make sure that your keywords and your description are targeted towards them so you can get the brand deal. Get the work. If you do know web design, this is also like an exciting service because they also include CSS that you can fix and tweak and make your own. It's completely custom. If you understand web design, you can make your site that much better if you just do a couple of tweaks with it. CSS isn't too hard to understand. Just do a couple of tutorials on, on YouTube and you will be able to kind of tweak this yourself and make it your own. It will just take longer than the 20 minute time limit, but it's nice to have your own custom design and to look as professional as you can. As you see the dashboard on the left of the page, you start off with your themes, your domain, your design, your content, then your custom email, SEO settings, and general settings. And right at the bottom, if you have any questions, they've got support. There's a little Streamlabs logo. Click on that and somebody will be able to get back to you and help you out. At the top of the page, if you aren't great with design, this is where I suggest you start. You go through this entire section in order from top to bottom. Start with your themes. In the theme store, you can choose a huge selection of different style themes that are made by prominent designers. Remember, Streamlabs work very closely with really great designers like Nerd or Die. Remember, these themes can be applied and then tweaked later. So there might be things that you want. I'm going for this retro look. I think it looks really cool. It's a good starting point for the rest of my website. So that's what I've chosen to do. You can pretty much choose whatever you want, whatever matches your existing themes. If you already have something like thematic on your stream, like anything from Nerd or Die, like retro or glitch, it can look cohesive and match your branding on your live stream and on your website, which is extremely professional. That's another really important benefit to building a creator site with Streamlabs is that if you're really using Streamlabs design assets, everything will look uniform and that ultimately looks more professional. If you go to the design on the left of the page, you can see there's a whole bunch of different ways of custom building your website. Of course, if you don't understand CSS, there are very easy different attributes that you can apply. Like I've done here, you can make your titles yellow and just make your make your branding colors pop out a little bit more. Mine is yellow if you haven't worked it out yet. <laughs> and just kind of make your design your own very quickly without having to put too much effort into understanding design principles and how they work. They've been very smart about how you build a website in creator sites. You can see these are blocks that you can add. You just click on a plus sign. And when you do, it will allow you to add any kind of content that you want. Firstly, you're going to have to decide what kind of uh, panels you'd like or how or the order of your panels. This means that you can put a little bit more information into a smaller space or related information into a panel if you'd like. In these blocks that they give you, everything is grid based. You can add pretty much anything. I've included a text block that allows me to introduce myself, who I am. I think it's really important that if you are a brand, have a block that tells new people that have landed there who you are, what you do, what you stand for, and what's like compelling about you. Work out what your stream is in like a sentence and kind of make that your main like PowerPoint. Mine is I'm really excitable. I'm really passionate about this industry. That's kind of my vibe that I'm going for. And that's what needs to like shout when you land on the page. Because I also have a YouTube channel, you can add like a YouTube carousel. There are a couple of different formats you can either make it slide or make it look like it's like a 3D shape, which is really sick. I've got like a countdown timer on my page, which allows me to show my Twitch stream. All these things are intentional. Not only do I have a YouTube channel, I also have a Twitch channel. And if people are new to who I am, they'll see a countdown timer, letting them know when that my next Twitch stream is, is coming out. They might have landed five minutes before I've gone live and uh, maybe you stick around to see it. You know what I mean? You never know. And it's not only brands that need this information. It's anybody that's like searching for you. Maybe somebody has told their friend that, hey, they must go check out your channel and they can't find you. So they've Googled you and your page comes up. They'll find this countdown timer. And what I've done here underneath, I've included my live stream embedded in the page as well. So because you've connected your Twitch account already to Streamlabs, being able to access all your Twitch stuff will happen inside your website as well. So this live stream window that you've got over here will go live when you are live and they can watch your stream 
on your web page. I don't necessarily recommend that people stick around on the creator side to watch your channel because you actually don't get a view for any embedded content just yet on Twitch. But I hear that Streamlabs might be working on something. So that's really sick. It does give somebody the opportunity to come click through and come watch you live stream on Twitch. On the right panel, I've added a donation tab. There's a chance that somebody might wanna donate while they're watching this. They might not be involved in the chat, but they're here, right? And they might not know that the donations correlate with the live stream. So I've plugged them together on the same panel. And I hope that that's very loud and clear to anybody that's new that has jumped in. They might not be engaging in the in the chat, but they might really just wanna like donate. And they might donate when I'm offline as well, which is also important. Having the donation tab available for people that aren't necessarily in your time zone, but really wanna support the channel, they can still donate here. Lastly on my page, I've added methods of finding me. I think it's important that this panel is really prominent, especially if you're a business. Make sure that your Twitter, your YouTube, your Instagram, your Twitch, they're all discoverable in this space. And on the right of this panel, I've included a contact block. This way people can just fill in the email, uh, their name and a message to me. And if they're a brand, I'll get hold of them as soon as possible. So this is a great way for me to connect with brands and allow brands to discover me faster. Other content blocks that you can include are an image. If you wanna stick an image in there, if you've designed your own banner, if you wanna put a leaderboard, like a bit leaderboard that you already have connected, like the Streamlabs one on uh, Twitch, so you can reward your viewers on your website as well who have donated or subscribed or, or, or dropped in bits. You can even have your merch available if you run your merch through Streamlabs here on the page. So if you're offline, people can find you instead of going to your Twitch channel and jumping into your panels to buy the merch or whatever, or having huge trouble finding a landing page, your merch is right there as a panel on your creator site. So there we go. This is the Streamlabs creator sites. Uh, I'm really excited about this. I've always told uh, content creators that are aspiring, that want to build a business out of what they're doing to think about what they're currently producing as professional material. And the way to make this professional is to have a proper presence where all of your, your systems are unified in one space. And uh, Creator Sites makes that a really cost efficient way to do it. You get a lot of bang for your buck, especially the fact that you get the domain security, your, your domain and your email set up. And within 20 minutes to an hour, depending on how detailed you want your website, you literally have like a custom domain, a contact form for people to contact you and uh, a, like a landing page that you can share on all of your socials on in your Twitter bio in your on your Instagram. It's a very cool service. I'm going to be using it for the next while. Go check out mine. It's gronhines.live. Uh, let me know what you think uh, in the, the comments below. I'm pretty proud of it. And if you guys have built your own one, send me links. I actually want to see what you guys have done. Have a peruse, build an incredible site, and I'll see you guys in another video.